collection uh, from so here's the picture of two programs safety you will work with some so today we are going to talk about the web front end picture how it's developed how it's designed and uh, you know, how and you are taking for the page of you and the how you can start kind of you know explanation of this Awesome. In your system too. So let's get it. Uh, so I'm going to say from the top and let him go to the end. So there's three hours from today. So, um, so I've been contributing to Kubernetes for more than three years now. I'm usually focused on the schedule and sometimes the old scaling too. So, Today we started from uh, the basics of the picture because this is the beginner session and like to the world is a control plane and it's possible to you know find mode for the path uh, on uh, with multiple factors and like there are many factors such as capacity, as low quality, for example, you know, affinity, and yeah, there are more options. And so, uh, if you load two factors as implemented as a program, uh, so the schedule of, of you know, many targets, like we have resources available for allocation, and um, we have input affinity for handling, you know. So yes, so the schedule consists of many plugins. Both plugins are uh, actually based on the architecture called scheduling framework. Uh, this is the core component of the schedule. So it's a you know plugable and uh, to include many plugins. I mean, it's many, many schedules other plugins. And here we have two different uh, So the first one is the extension. Uh, so probably you can figure out what the extension is not going to So for example, if you now have enough results to run the out, the results is probably figure out the node. Four extension points uh, for this node uh, based on the you know the responsible schedule factor. Um, for example, if the node already has the image that is like the path destroyer, then the image locality, image locality plugin towards the node here, so that the node will likely. So I just go but there are actually more uh, so that uh, you know it's the range of the idea on the list. So those many uh, extensions and the scheduling uh, from Mark Fred to many scheduling use cases in the world. Right, so we've gone through the basics of the Kubernetes schedule uh, very quickly and so let's dive into the schedule So extensibility oh, yes. So extensibility is very important for the schedule. So Kubernetes is uh, used uh, for various use cases and it's possible for us to implement uh, to implement all the features that we use uh, for the specific use cases. So uh, it's very, really much good, and you know, there are many scenarios like scenarios. So, it's difficult to use it to do a from scratch. So, we have a lot of the extensibility work from the operation. So, you know, the maintenance focus on maintaining the core logic of the tool. 
Framework that I described already. Uh, so we and cover use cases in the world. Uh, also, we So as a result, uh, the scale framework specifies why the use case in the world so far. And each principle is just a, uh, you know, so no such. 
uh, we can actually allow the schedule and actually can be very frequently. But it has a downside of proposing uh, uh, for the dynamic loading of the file. So you have to, you know, talk to uh, the schedule, integrate your project into them, uh, reduce the schedule, and then, you know, eventually you have to try to replace this thing before you do the first one. So that's, you know, for example. So to make more, like, uh, you have friendly or what here. So we need a way to satisfy and to hopefully run some code in other uh, languages. So what I've got on I choose what I've got module and let me guess what the question was. So like is that what you do with this browser stuff or like when you make know the to run what is that but another uh, use case uh, of what is here is that we provide with for example what we have a functionality to uh, run what is here too so you can just run them to send them away. So the idea is that users implement with certain logic and until it can do and that's where it has come in, for example, Tumblr or Tumblr, uh, and the what is that, and load the what is what, what it gets that user to uh, code. So with that in the beginning, uh, all the functionalities of the framework uh, will be available. So uh, it, or it will be available uh, as well as Tumblr on Friday. So it's a lot uh, compared to the one plugin because it doesn't require any people who are requiring to get to the uh the water bottom a lot. So also uh covering when we have time to SDK, uh typically uh you can use any languages to implement the uh, what it might be. So I uh, did the you know, flexibility of Alex uh, uh, language choice or like a uh, technology uh, choice. So uh, it has a downside. Uh, but if you stop here, what I mean, before I'm starting, uh, I think what is the we have an overhead. But also, the overhead is actually smaller than the extender, the web hook. So, it might be okay for someone, but it might not be okay for somebody. And also, what is what you can have some, you know, limitations that you may not be familiar with. So, this is the default one and this is what is slower than the default controller so this is the second method and this is the first one uh, so uh, it's much slower than the default controller so you can see what is what is controlled by performance but very complex to that so so, will the logic replace all plugins? I would say no. Uh, so, as you know, the logic can be not replace with overhead. And, you know, generally speaking, if you cross the, uh, you know, super big, then you still get this to be something as your handle of uh, So, if you cross the big event in the event, then at this point, overhead can be what you know, if you want to handle some of the you know, various parts of your scheduling project, then the overhead would be bigger because uh, you have to have a lot of objects between the schedule 
understand what the model is. So, also, maybe it becomes unacceptable for your product at some point. So, yeah, you have to choose a wicked you know, budget, you, uh, depending on your world, your requirements.
probably want to create some new case to hide the complex system and to make it easier for people to build the working set. The object transfer which I have uh, to you know with the open set now that you probably want to hide some that now to keep your performance. We just did the first release uh, last month, I guess. We have many things to support the following function actually. And actually, our project is the first project in the Thank you.